What happened to the prettiest most popular girl after high school? She's currently in the living room doing yoga with our two year old daughter. She didn't get enough scholarship money to go to the college she wanted to go to. And she ended up moving to Oregon with her mother. She worked as a barista and took community college classes for a while. And now she's going to be a flight attendant. She always had this crazy Judy Garland kinda poise about her. So she'll probably be great at it. Wait. I was supposed to keep track of these people. Married to her HS sweetheart with two kids. They are a husband and wife realtor team and trade off work so one is always with the kids. It's actually a very ideal situation. Still very pretty. I'd say there was at least three very pretty popular girls. One was a basketball player and married another basketball player on the guy's team. They have two kids and make them wear jerseys and Jordans. Second girl who was voted most likely to succeed ended up marrying a water polo dude. I think he is a realtor and she is a doctor. He proposed to her at Disneyland. The third girl gained some weight and got a bunch of tattoos and I'm not sure what she does tbh. But she still likes my Facebook posts. The nice pretty popular girl is now a wedding videographer who is absolutely beautiful inside and out. The not so nice pretty popular girl had a kid at 19 and still lives with her parents. Spends money on drinking and tattoos. Little bit of karma there. I went to an all boys high school. So I'm guessing she had a life changing transition. I'm currently in grad school. Ha ha ha. But seriously. She left Canada and went to an Ivy League school. She's now a financial manager at a large bank. In no small part due to her father. I also heard she got engaged to some rich guy. But we don't keep up. Brain tumor. She left behind a husband and two kids. At 24. She was texting while sitting at a stop sign. And then pulled out in front of a semi truck. She was an elementary school teacher and planning her wedding. I wake up next to her every morning. I have no idea how it happened. But somehow I caught her. She's still just as beautiful today as she was 13 years ago and she gave me a gorgeous baby girl. Our popular girl was co-head cheerleader, homecoming queen, and an honor student. In the top 25 out of a graduating class of about 400, she is now a physician. Coke, then baby, then dead from the coke. So sad because she could have been someone. Very attractive, smart, funny she had it all. Pressure folks, either it makes a diamond or you structurally implode. She's still hot. They're all still hot. It's also only been 2 years. I'll report back in on 13 more years. There's 3. 1 and 2 are divorced with beautiful kids. They bounce around from one toxic relationship to the next. Their FB walls is a mix of self eyes and self pity. The third one is doing real good. She's married to her career. She's still beautiful inside and out after college she moved back to our childhood town doubt very involved with the community despite her busy work schedule as a pediatrician. Drugs and failure. For almost all of them. One got pregnant at 18 and married her partner. They seem happy, which I'm glad for as she was nice. The other one is a girl who I attribute to stopping me from taking my own life and is one of the nicest people I've ever met. She is doing psychology at uni. I hope she wins the lottery, attains nirvana and gains eternal life or summit. I'll pay her back for what she did for me one day. She's doing pretty successful for herself. At least that's what I can tell from her Facebook. Contrary to popular stereotype. She was not a slut who drank nor was she itchy at all. She genuinely was a good person. But she just happened to get a lot of attention so I personally was never all that close to her. Of course. She dated a jock of a guy throughout high school. But I don't blame her. Dude was good looking and pretty successfully in sports and academics. She went to university. Lived her own life. She was very academically successful in school and also achieved a lot of other stuff. Such as being the leader of the volleyball team. From what my friends of the me. She got a comfortable job and is living pretty healthily. Right now she is making my boys breakfast. I'm still in high school. She was in grade 12 when I was in grade 9 so she already graduated. She went to America to try to get into a good college but got shot by some guy for some reason. 
The most popular and pretty girl from my high school was also the one who bullied me pretty ducking horrendously. Think having chewing gum spat in your hair then having to sit in front of class and have it cut out of your hair by the teacher. This kind of it happened daily for 5 years. I spent years after school hoping she'd fail at life before I made my peace with the fact that a decade on she was still popular and pretty. She ended up moving to Australia with her husband and two kids. Thankfully, my acne cleared up and I ended up pretty, popular and also a little bit rich. I don't really have many feelings for her any longer but whenever I see a post from her I mutter a duck you Annabelle under my breath. The popular girl became a life coach and teaches folks how to appear likable. For the ladies. Right you love to go muddin' in your personal ad to show you're down to earth. For the guys. She wrote a Rosetta Stone on body language. She was my neighbor. Married a guy from HS. Who has gone on to have a very successful local business. They. Collaboratively. Have been working to restore some local historical places. I wish I could be cynical about this. But they are just as nice people as you could want to meet. She married an NFL kicker. Opened a bunch of pubers and lives a life most would dream of. Let's see. She friended me on Facebook recently. So I see all the pictures. She has 20 something grandkids now. Looks like she did in high school. Looks like a very pretty woman that some makeup artist has aged a little. That's it. Still pretty as a picture. Still married to the guy she was dating in high school. Looks like they did well. Comfortable middle class. I know she got a degree, but don't know what. Seems like a family of professionals. But maybe that's just the pictures. I dunno. She looks lucky. I hope she is. She was a nice lady. Smart. Not what you'd expect from a head cheerleader and homecoming queen back in 1966. Looks like she navigated life well. Though the last time I spoke to her in person was on campus in 1970 or so. She looked worried and upset. But then it was 1970 everyone looked that way. Probably should have made a move back then. But I was just back from 18 months in Vietnam. I had no opportunity to use them. And I think I misplaced my moves. Just as well. She looks happy. But you know. She always did. What is the purpose of this question? Opie, you got me all moody. She's as sweet as ever. Married to a great guy. Two kids. And sells her knitting on Etsy. I grew up and stopped obsessing about her. I don't care where she is now. She's an MD PhD who is literally curing cancer. Divorced a couple years into college. Don't know much else but it was my buddy who married her. Luckily they didn't have kids. I assume she is fine. She was smart and still hot when I last saw her. But it has been a decade. It how the time flies. No ducking clue. I have. I mean. I don't know if she ducks clues or not. Has three kids from three different fathers. And has been married twice. Currently divorced. Graduated four years ago. It was actually a boys school. For years. There were only a few girls. One of them was really pretty and nice and smart. And we became good friends those days. She went to medical school for a long time. And became one of the best surgeons in her field. Her kids are in the same class. Elementary school. As my sister's kids. And apparently she's still as nice. It's interesting. The most popular girl had a very similar last name to me and we would always be put next to each other when the teachers used alphabetical seating plans. She always pretended to be really dumb and ditzy for the main popular guy group. But whenever we got our assignments exams back for anything I'd notice she always had great grades. When she started studying to become a doctor, some of my friends were pretty surprised. They thought she was dumb as duck. I'd always known she was way smarter than people thought and I hope she's far out of high school enough to not act ditzy anymore. She got with a good looking guy. They have some good looking kids living in a good looking home. She got very overweight when her HSBF dumped her. I see her every now and again. She struggles with her weight and with a drinking problem. Very sad. Most popular, had a scholarship to play soccer. Couldn't get her partying under control. Lost her scholarship over drugs. Dropped out. Now is a bartender in our hometown. Prettiest. We're still dating almost 7 years later. She came out. 
much to the heartbreak of many high school boys. She took over her father's junkyard business after he died, and has put on so much weight and tattoos that she's unrecognizable. I went to a huge high school, but there were two very pretty popular girls that I saw regularly and was aware of. One went to the same college as me and we even had a few classes together. She still has the squeakiest voice of all time. Other than that, she graduated when I did and she's a registered dietitian now. She seems to be doing pretty well for herself. The other girl is still dating her high school junior high sweetheart. They were both pretty cool people, but I always got the feeling she was peaking while we were in high school together. Last I saw on Facebook she's a kid Zumba instructor, which was a career I was unaware existed. Currently serves me dinner on Friday nights and has to be nice for tips. She's got something like an education degree and she's going out with a former male model who was our high school history teacher's little brother. Last I heard she was drunk at a party shortly after school finished. She got locked in a room and ended up laying a nice turd on the carpet and passing out next to it. Last I saw her she was a stripper who occasionally went on lavish trips with her sugar daddies. She was so popular I thought she'd never look at me. We're married and having our first kid in July. She went back for a fifth year 